Bye. I'm Jackie O. Well, hello, gorgeous. How are you today? Go ahead and grab a little cup of tea and join me for a fun little tutorial on how to work this stunning red velvet rose crochet wrap. This pattern has long been one of my most popular patterns. It's a beautiful, easy shawl pattern that consists of four sections, so you won't get bored when crocheting it. Section one consists of double crochet rows alternated with triple crochet rows. Section two consists of primarily double crochets interspersed with some little spaces. Fairly straightforward. Section three consists of these fun little fan shapes, and that's actually what I'm gonna be demonstrating for you today. And then section four is this gorgeous lacy bit at the bottom with those elegant picots. Mm, love it so much. I'd love to show you section three today as on occasion, we do get some emails about that part. As always, if you would love the full written version of this pattern, it's available at expressionfiberarts.com. I will also put the direct link in the description box for you. You're gonna need a US size H hook and some worsted weight yarn. I opted for our pearlescent worsted yarn in red velvet rose colorway. Super popular and gorgeous. This yarn base is a soft, dreamy blend of superwash merino wool. It also has glowing mulberry silk, so it just takes the dye so beautifully. It's such a dreamy yarn base. Okay, to get started, I've worked a little condensed swatch for you of sections one, a little spacer row, section two, a spacer row, and now we're ready to get started with section three. So let's work row one of section three. Okay, to work row one, you're gonna start by skipping this first chain space, and then in the next chain space, working three triple crochets, a chain five, and a slip stitch. So to do a triple crochet, and these are American terms, yarn over twice and insert into this second chain space. And we're gonna do that three times total. Still working into that same chain space. And one more. Once you've worked those three tri triple crochets, you're going to chain five. Two, three, four, five. And then slip stitch into that same chain space that you've been working in. So here's what you have so far. We've skipped that first chain space, which was here. And we worked our three triple crochets, our chain five, and our slip stitch into this next chain space. Now what we're gonna do is slip stitch into the next double crochet, which is right here. Go ahead and slip stitch right there. Then we're gonna slip stitch into the next chain space. Bloop. Okay, then you're just gonna repeat that across. So what you're gonna do is three triple crochets, chain five and a slip stitch into this next chain space. So again, bloop, bloop. One triple crochet, bloop, bloop. Two triple crochets, bloop, bloop. Three triple crochets. Then you chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch into that same chain space. And again, you're gonna slip stitch in your double crochet and slip stitch in the next chain space. And just continue repeating that all the way across until you get to the end, and then you're gonna finish by working this three triple crochet, chain five slip stitch into the final chain space, and then you'll turn. So I'll just continue on and finish my adorable little swatch here. One, I'll speed up a little bit. Let me know what speed you like me to go, if you prefer very slow, if you prefer, prefer normal speed. I'm happy to do whatever works for you so that it's very clear. Three, four, five, 
slip stitch, slip stitch in your double crochet, slip stitch in your chain space, and then finish with your three triple crochets, chain five, slip stitch into that final chain space. There's two, three, chain five, three, four, five, and slip stitch in that final chain space. And that's row one. All right, row one is done. So let's go ahead and work row two. Okay, for row two, make sure you've turned. Then what you're gonna do is slip stitch up to the top of your chain five. So get your yarn out of the way there. Go ahead and work a slip stitch in each of those chain stitches all the way up to the tippy top. There's two, three, four, and five. Once you're up there, then you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna work a double triple crochet, very exciting, in the same stitch. So that's one, two, three, work it into that same stitch. Whoops, bloop, bloop. Then you're gonna work two double triple crochets in each of the next three triple crochets. So go three times around, three yarn overs, and we're gonna work two double triple crochets in each of these. So I'll show you a little bit slower. Three yarn overs, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's a double, triple crochet, and I've worked two into this first triple crochet from the row before. So let's work two in the next one. One, two, three, Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. These are nice, tall stitches. They really create such a gorgeous fan shape when you're all done and you have your beautiful shawl finished. Really, really cool looking. So I've worked two here. Now let's work two here. One, two, three yarn overs. There we go, and one more, two, three. And as soon as I finish this one, I'll show you what we've got so far. All right, you can see this beautiful little fan shape with our two double triple crochets in each of our triple crochets from the row before. All right, so now what you're gonna do is slip stitch in the top of the next chain five. So where is the next chain five? It's right here. You can either slip stitch actually in the top loop of that, or I just usually go into the big loop there, however you wanna do it. Then from this point on, you're gonna basically repeat what you did. So chain five, I'll show you again. One, two, three, four, and five one double triple crochet in the same stitch one two three again i'm just going to go in that big loop it looks pretty similar and then two double triple crochets in each of these triple crochets from the row before and then you're just going to repeat that across till you get to the end So there's one, two, three. And you really get into a rhythm with this. I love these big tall stitches because you can produce such beautiful fabric in such a quick amount of time. So if patience is a factor 
or you need to whip out a last minute gift. These tall crochet stitches are just great. I mean, look at that. You're producing such, such a big amount of fabric. It's awesome for people. If you're anything like me and you love to produce and achieve, this will be right up your alley. All right, let's go ahead and continue across and I'll show you what to do when you get to the end. When you get to the final little fan here, it's the exact same thing. Slip stitch, work your chain five, three, four, five, and work your double triple crochet into that same stitch, your double triple crochet, two of them into each of those final three triple crochets from the row before. <laughs> so it's just the exact same thing that you've been doing across the row. So there I've worked one into that same stitch. Then I'll work six more. One, two, three. There's one. Again into the same stitch. Two, and two, three. These are super fun too. If you've never worked these giant double triple crochets, they're just a blast. One, two, three. All right, so then we've got two more to go and this row will be finished. And then as usual, you're gonna turn and we'll get started on the next one. Three, two, three, and final one. So here's what we get. Rows one and two are done. Now let's go ahead and work row three. You're doing great. Okay, row number three is very fun, quick, and easy. You're gonna start by chaining three. Then you're gonna skip two double triple crochets. So skip this one and skip this one. And you're by default, you're skipping that first one too. So then you're going to slip stitch into the next one. So this one here. So technically that's the fourth one over. All right, once you've done that, you're gonna chain three again. And you're gonna skip three double triple crochets. So skip one, two, three and then slip stitch into the top of the chain five. And again, you can actually go into the loop of that chain five if you want. I usually just take the easier route and go into the big loop there. All right, then you repeat across, chain three, one, two, three. Skip three double triple crochets. So one, two, three, slip stitch, into the next one. Then chain three. Skip three double triple crochets. Skip, skip, skip. Slip stitch into the top of the chain five. And just repeat that across. Very simple. One, two, three. Skip two, three, Slip stitch into the next one. Chain two, three. Skip two, three. Slip stitch into the top of that chain five. One, two, three. Skip two, three. Slip stitch into the next one. One, two, three. Skip two, three, and finish by slip stitching into the top of that final chain five. And that was row three. Okay, that's rows one through three. Now I'm gonna demonstrate row four, which is the final row that I'm gonna show you how to do. Okay, now we're on to row four, and it's basically row one that we just worked before. So I'll go a little faster, but I still wanted to show you how to do it. So you're gonna start by skipping this first chain space, and then in the next chain space, working three triple crochets, chain five, and a slip stitch. 
Let's go ahead and do that. One triple crochet. Two triple crochets. Three triple crochets. And then you work a chain five. Four, five. Then slip stitch into that same chain space. Again, it's just like row one. Very easy. You've got this. And that's what you get. All right, so then you're gonna slip stitch in the next chain space. Then you're gonna work again your three triple crochets, chain five, slip stitch into the next chain space. Two, three, chain five, Slip stitch into that same chain space. Slip stitch into the next chain space. And repeat across. One. Two. Three. Chain five two, three, four, five, slip stitch into the same chain space, slip stitch into the next chain space, and then we'll go ahead and finish up this row with, you guessed it, three triple crochets, a chain five, and a slip stitch into your final chain space. Very simple, very repetitive, very straightforward. Nothing too complex here. Four and five, slip stitch into the final chain space you've just been working in, and then row four is complete. All right, now we've completed rows one through four. To work rows five and six, you're just gonna repeat rows two and three once more. So once you're done with section three, you would then proceed on to this lacy bit, which is section four. I hope that is helpful, my love. Thank you so much for joining me again for another fun little tutorial. I would like to leave you today with a quote by Paolo Coelho. A rose is a rose from the time it is a seed to the time it dies. Within it, at all times, it contains its whole potential. It seems to be constantly in the process of change, yet at each state, at each moment, it is perfectly all right as it is. I hope you remember today that no matter where you are in life, it is perfectly all right in this moment. You are right where you need to be and your next path will unfold perfectly. Alrighty, remember to soak up this beautiful day and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye. Row one of section three, you're gonna start by skipping the first chain. Sorry, I need to redo that. Three triple crochets, chain, I can't remember it. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I forgot again. I forgot, wait. <laughs> You're right where you need to be. It is perfectly all right. You are right. <laughs> you are the best, bye-bye.